show me the studies, show me the studies, show me the... Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a little sit down video. We're gonna talk about my time before I went vegan. Because nowadays it's quite easy to get pulled into the vegan bubble. You go online, you see some vegan role models and you follow their lead. But once upon a time, there were no vegan role models. There were only real life vegans. And today I want to talk about exactly those encounters, the first vegans that I saw in real life and what I was thinking about them whilst I was still a meat eater. So the first time that I saw a real life vegan, that must have been around about 2007, 2008. I was working out religiously, I was really into bodybuilding and nothing else mattered. There was one guy in the gym that was training really, really hard, but had no progress whatsoever, no gains whatsoever. I asked him how long he's been training and he told me it has been over 10 years. However, there were no gains to be seen, no results and I was really wondering what was up with him. So I started talking to him and I wanted to assist him. I was a bodybuilder after all, training six times per week, eating six meals per day, rice and chicken every two hours. I wanted to help the guy out. But this man didn't want my help. Why was that so? You already know the answer. This man was a vegan. When I asked him where he gets his protein from, and this was not motivated through some memes, this was really my question. His answer was through pasta, grains, everything has protein. Every single plant food has protein. This man insured me and he told me if you really must then you can eat some tofu on top. You get enough protein as is. It is all propaganda. He even started talking about certain studies and how much protein we truly need. Needless to say, I was not impressed. As I said, in real life, there were no gains, no results whatsoever. On top of that, I will never forget how agitated this man was kinda angry even. I asked him as politely and nicely as possible. I asked him if I can help him out, if I can assist him with his diet. He got even more angry. Now looking back, I do understand why that was. Right? The bad, bad meat eater trying to convince him. Quite funny. Back then I didn't understand it. That was my first encounter with a real life vegan. And this experience brought me far away from veganism because I heard about it somewhere. But once I saw veganism in real life, I was completely turned off. No way in hell I said to myself, I will malnourish myself like that. I do love animals like anybody else, but I'm not going to do that to myself. So that was the first encounter. The second encounter happened in Bali. I was already experimenting with vegetarianism, but I went back to eating meat because I couldn't sustain myself. Back then I still had a little bit of common sense left and I didn't fall for that trap. However, it was exactly in Bali, I was in a hostel and I was passing by a room just to look into it and see a girl laying in bed. No guys, not what you're thinking. That girl looked sick. She truly looked like she needs help. So I went into the room and tried to cheer her up. I asked her what's up, how she feels, if she wants to join the others. On that day, we want to take our scooters and go for a ride, explore the island. So I wanted to invite her. However, she told me that she feels very, very sick and she cannot come out. I asked her, is it the flu? Do you have some sort of infection? What happened? Is it the dengue fever maybe? She answered, no, it is because I'm a vegan. Obviously, I wasn't satisfied with that answer. So therefore, I started digging and I started asking, why are you feeling so weak because of veganism? That's kind of strange. Don't you want to eat something, feel better, feel healthier? She ensured me that back in the day, she was traveling through India 
and everything was perfectly fine because in India they have perfect vegan food. However, in Bali that is not the case and therefore she cannot come out. She has to stay in bed. I tried to offer her some eggs. I said, come on, you have to nourish yourself. I understand you're a vegan, but maybe you will try some dairy, some eggs. Obviously, now looking back, I do understand that out of the vegan perspective, nobody would say yes to my offer. Even me, when I was a vegan, I wouldn't say yes to dairy or eggs. Of course not. However, from a commonsensical perspective, my offer made all the sense in the world. This girl was malnourished. And let's assume that in some sort of magical fairy tale country, she can get all her nutrients through supplementation and whatnot. And now, being there in Bali, she can't do so. So she endures suffering and tortures herself for some sort of arbitrary goal. That was my second encounter with veganism. So guys, after that, sure, I met a couple of other vegans, maybe little less extreme examples. However, I chose my two first encounters that I wanted to share with you. This was before the YouTube era. This was before the big vegan boom. This was the real life. Everybody knew vegans are weak. Vegans are malnourished. Vegans make no gains. Vegans are sick. However, nowadays you have this YouTube world where people that have been vegan for a year or two that are on steroids or supplement heavily just to cope with their malnutrition and then they will tell you veganism is the way to go and our children and teenagers copy that example. Meanwhile, the reality looks so different. If you talk to people that truly have vegan friends or they live around vegans, it is always the same story. Those people are not healthy. Those people are always sick. It is a mirage. Social media comes with great benefits, but social media comes with dire consequences as well. It is not real life, guys. It is a facade. It is a fairy tale. It does not exist. And you see it with the long term vegans. Finally, it starts creeping in on YouTube. You can see how they truly look like. Show me the studies. Show me the studies. Show me the. the Guys, come on, let's be honest. We've seen what happens to healthy people on a vegan diet. Nobody achieves their goals. You see the athletes, they're ruining their career. You see normal people wrecking their digestion, ruining their relationships, getting depressed, anxious and whatnot. Anyways, guys, the video is long enough. Just a quick sit down video where I wanted to share my real experience with vegans before I was a vegan myself. The reason why I share this with you is to remind you that it's all on social media. In real life, if you look around, first and foremost, you don't find many vegans. Secondly, if you see them, you can point them out. It is the weak, gray looking person with no gains every single time. Don't fall for that trap. All right, guys, that's the it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.